Struggling on defense in Madden 23? Whether you need help stopping the run? Stopping the pass and getting turnovers? Or shutting down your opponent in short yardage situations and in the red zone? Nope. If you want to see what defense I'm using that's allowing less than four points a game in online gameplay, stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Now the defensive playbook that I'm using today that I'm going to show this play from is going to be once again from my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook. Every single defensive play that I put out this year can be found in the Miami Dolphins book. It's the only playbook I use and it's the only playbook I plan on using pretty much the entire year. The formation that I'm going to be using today is going to be the 3-4 odd and the play that I'm going to be using is going to be the cover four quarters. This cannot be confused with the regular cover four drop though. I'm going to show the difference between these two defenses later. The cover four drop is a much worse defense than the cover four match. The only adjustment that you really want to make is make sure that you set your zone coverage adjustment to match that will give you the full benefit of this particular defense now you can use this defense against just about any offense in the game but it's really best against certain offensive packages formations like single back formations i form formations strong formations things like that which people typically run out of compared to gun formations where people typically pass out of what makes this defense so good is the fact that it's highly adjustable there's really two different types of setups that i use but the most important thing is to make sure that these safeties are down at the line of scrimmage because they're gonna really be acting like extra linebackers when it comes to run defense. There's two different ways to bring the safeties down. You can pinch the entire defense. This is gonna be the RB, R1 button and then down on the left stick. When you do that though, a lot of times the cornerbacks will come down as well. You don't really want the cornerbacks to come down if you have a three wide receiver set like we're looking at here. So in something like this, it's really best to do a baseline show blitz baseline, which is gonna be wide triangle every single time, then right on the left stick and then left on the left stick, then right on the left stick again. Doing this will bring the safety down but not the cornerbacks making it much better in pass coverage now this is the first series of this particular game that my opponent has the ball you can see i scored a touchdown on my first drive he's trying to run a hurry up offense and pound the rock right up the middle and he's not getting very far you can see on this next play here i accidentally make a mistake where i pull back the free safety and he's still going to come and make the play because my opponent is going for it on fourth and inches i'm going to do a very different setup where i'm going to pinch the entire defense you can see the defensive alignment changes to the point where there's really no space to run right up the middle and then on the next play you can see my opponent gets stuffed on fourth and inches by three different defenders. Nope. Doing a pinch defense like this is really best when it comes to any run up the middle. Now I've gone over this defense in another video, a different cover four out of the 3-3 Cub. I will have a link in the description for that. No matter what formation of defense you like to run, you always want to make sure you have a cover four quarters or a cover four in your audibles just in case your opponent starts running the ball. This is going to be the best run defense no matter what formation you're using but they all act the exact same way. You're gonna notice on this next play, the cornerback is going to drop back to make sure that nobody gets behind him while the safeties are very aggressive when it comes to the run. They will shoot down and fill lanes. You can see the safety gets down and gets in on the gang tackle, tackling Christian McCaffrey for a one yard gain. This can change based off of who your safeties are. The higher the play recognition, the quicker they'll react to run plays like this. Unless you guess pass, the safeties will always play the run first, making this defense look a lot like a nine-man run commit. And while all cover fours will react that way, the formation is really the MVP. You can see in this next game here, I'm up 17-0 at the start of the second half against my opponent. This is from a gameplay video that I put out a couple days ago about a pass defense. If you guys want to see that pass defense and that blitz, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. And while I was going to use my 3-4 quarters once again, I just decided to check out the even 6-1 cover four quarters to see if it worked essentially the same. It's possible that this is a better run defense because they're both cover fours. It's just a slightly different alignment. So I do the exact same trick. I bring my safeties down to the line. I close up the middle, expecting this to stop the run the exact same way. And on the very next series, you can see my opponent just pounds the ball right down my throat. On the first play, he gets a positive gain. On the next play, I try a little bit of a different setup. I try hitting him with hard flats to try to help with the outside run defense. It does not. Then on the next play, I try sending the the entire house is blitzing all my linebackers because it's third and two i want to try to get a stop and you can see he busts me for another big run 
He's running a hurry up, so I can't really get out of this formation, but you can see he's having all the success in the world. The only thing I could do after this is run commit, which I obviously don't want to do, but he's having a lot of success against this particular cover four. So not all cover fours are created equal. Eventually, his running back does get tired, so he has to let me back to call a play. And on second and one, I go back to the three, four odd, and you're going to see the difference in results here. Exact same setup as before, and we're shutting down that run, knocking him back to a third and three. On the next play, he tries to run in the opposite direction with the exact same stretch play. We're beating him to the outside one. One more time after going right down the field on me and the other defense i switch over and he went from a second and one to a fourth and five now in this particular play my opponent does not run the ball he actually passes the ball but you can see how good this pass defense is if i pause this halfway through everything is locked up the only thing that's not locked up is the running back underneath and by the time he throws the ball we are double teaming that receiver and nothing gets open another adjustment that i make quite a bit especially in the red zone like in this next series is i'll put my outside guys on hard flats and i'll typically set the hard flats to zero or five finding five is a little bit more effective sometimes against certain routes uh, but you can see once again my opponent tries to run the ball and it looks like we ran commit every single time you see this run defense we'll rewind it back just to show you that it's not a run commit you can see here once again we have their cornerback we have our safety in the same picture you're going to see the safety shoots down the cornerback drops back this is not a run commit but your opponent's going to feel like you're run committing every single time because the run defense is so ferocious there's two types of plays on offense that can really give this particular defense trouble and that's going to be slants crossers things like that and routes that don't go 10 yards on this next play if i'd have brought these safeties down they would have covered a little bit better based on the fact that they weren't down far enough they really didn't react until the route got closer to 10 yards which is why he caught that ball on this next play we use that exact same run defense you can see everything's shooting in if i back out and look at the cornerback and the safety once again you can tell the cornerbacks are dropping back they're not going to get beat at any point in time on this next play in fourth and five, I do my pinch adjustment and then I also send the house. A lot of times I'll blitz all linebackers just to basically give my opponent no time to throw. You can see on this play, he's under center. So this is a good move. I do give myself a hard flat because I didn't want to get caught in a stretch alert looky or something like that where my opponent hits me with a slant. He does go out there for coverage and then you can see it does force a quick throw, which you essentially get a turnover and a takeaway. I said earlier in the video that I was going to show you guys the difference between cover four drop and cover four match. The run defense is going to react the exact same way. The safeties are going to play the run first, but the pass defense is going to be very different it's a first and goal inside the red zone so i really can't give up too much space but you're going to see if i slow this down and cut the field in half on the left side here this cornerback drops straight back even though there's nobody in his area he drops straight back to make sure that nothing gets behind him which makes absolutely no sense in this scenario you can also see that the receiver in front of the linebacker here is pretty much wide open on the other side we get better coverage but it's only based off the fact that we have the boundary at the back of the end zone and the sideline because that running back would have been wide open and that corner route would have been wide open if it wasn't for the that my opponent made a mistake and ran the ball to the wrong side of the field so every receiver on the left side of the field is open and the receivers on the right side of the field are only open because they're being covered by the boundary so now you can see that's the cover four drop let's go and let's switch to the cover four match you can turn cover four drop into cover four match simply by using the zone coverage match adjustment as well this will essentially turn the exact same play into matching principles you're going to see on this next play how much better this play works now you're going to see the cornerback here on the left side number one it doesn't drop straight back he still drops into his quarter coverage but he drops in a way that he doesn't want to let anything get in front of him which is way better he's waiting for this receiver to cross the field the linebacker underneath him is doing a much better job as well on the other side this cornerback here is going to immediately follow this receiver off the line and you can see he really stays with him until he moves in towards the safety even this linebacker underneath cuts off any short throws which is terrific then once he moves on to that safety you can see the safety blankets him he's covered up then you can see once again the flat receiver is essentially double covered until that guy turns up the field i think my opponent thought that that running back was going to pull the coverage back nope it does not because i did have a hard flat set to zero on and you can see boom we're getting an interception and we're going the other the way for an easy touchdown on defense so the run defense is pretty much the same between the two but the coverage is much improved when it comes to cover four match so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this first of all make sure to be a subscriber secondly hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll have a video popping up on the screen of another defense that i highly recommend you guys add to your arsenal so if you want to check that out it'll definitely help out your game as well other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below